Hey everyone, Till here. Today I'm going to answer the question, can metal pen tips scratch the glass display of your iPad? And the answer is no, and I'm going to prove it to you later. So metal pen tips like the ones you see here are getting more popular. They come in different designs. Some have the needle point, some have the round ball point. They can be translucent, white, or colorful, and they are very affordable. Each one is less than two US dollars. You can find the metal pen tips very easily on AliExpress. I'll have links for you in the video description below. So let me just put on this metal pen tip with the needle point. To know whether metal can scratch glass, you must first understand the concept of hardness, which is measured using the Mohs scale of mineral resistance. On the Mohs scale, the higher the number, the harder it is. So glass has a more scale of 5.5 to 7, depending on how the glass is made. And on the screen right now is a list of metals and their respective hardness. So lead has a Mohs scale of 1.5, gold is 2.5 to 3, Aluminium is also 2.5 to 3, which is why aluminium laptops can scratch easily. Bronze is 3, nickel is 4, steel is 4 to 4.5, which is still considered softer than glass. There's iron, 4.5. Going up, we have titanium, 6, and hardened steel is 7 to 8. So hardened steel is likely to scratch glass. The metal used by these pen tips are made with copper, which has a hardness scale of 3. And they are coated with nickel, which has a hardness scale of 4. So in theory, they should not scratch glass because glass is at least 5.5 uh, to 7. I'm going to start my scratching test with the needle point first, followed by the round point, And later, I will show you the handwriting and drawing performance of the needle point versus the round point. So on this iPad, there is already one scratch here. So I will scratch this area beside. I'll try to scratch this area beside. And I am trying to apply as much pressure as I can without cracking the glass. And I don't see any scratches at all. And this is the pen tip with the round point. Same thing. I don't see any scratches at all. One thing I don't like about the metal pen tip is the tapping sound. And now let's look at the drawing performance of the needle point. So those are the marks that I made earlier while trying to scratch the glass. I will be drawing slow diagonal lines. I can see slight wobble. Yep, there is definitely slight wobble. Let's switch over to the round point. I actually want to call this the ball point, but it's not a ball because a ball will rotate. Same thing, slow diagonal lines. The lines are definitely straighter. So the round point is more accurate. Let's look at the note taking performance with the needle point. For note taking, the needle point performs quite well. The tablet and the Apple Pencil can capture my handwriting quite accurately and the lines are quite straight. When you're writing fast, the lines will appear straight when you're writing slower, there may be slight wobble. And this is the handwriting or note taking performance of the round point. The round point is more accurate than the needle point, and for writing, I can see that my handwriting is also neater. Pressure sensitivity for the needle point and the round point is similar, so I can't show you any differences. What I want to show you is the difference with tilt sensitivity, starting with the needle point. So what I want to do here is to have the thin line transition into a thick and back to thin as smooth as I can using this tilt brush. 
So as you can see, the thin line will transition quite quickly to become broad, so the transition is not that smooth. Here it goes back to being thin quite smoothly, but here it's quite abrupt, and here it's very abrupt. So we have very obvious thin and thick lines. And now I'm using the round point So the transition is smoother from thin to thick and back to thin. I don't see the abrupt transition. So let's take a look at the needle point again. So you can see this is much thinner, much thicker, much thinner. And for the round point, it's smoother. The transition is much smoother. If you use tilt brushes, the difference is very obvious. There is no performance difference with the translucent tip versus the white tip, but there is a performance difference with needle point versus round point. If you're using a matte screen protector on your iPad and you find that the plastic pen nib is wearing down too quickly, perhaps you may want to get a metal pen tip instead. I'm not sure if you can hear the pen tip on the screen protector, but it makes a louder sound compared to metal on glass. Alright, to conclude, if you want to get a metal pen tip, get the round point, don't get the needle point, and for some reason, this round point metal tip does not work for me. The white metal pen tips were purchased from seller A, and this is from seller B. I'm not sure what's wrong with this. I have two of this and both did not work. When you do a search for Apple Pencil Metal Tip on AliExpress, you will see many options. So I recommend you go with the round point. And since the colored or the colorful metal pen tips did not work for me, I probably won't recommend this. Anyway, do check out the reviews first before you buy them. In the next video, I will show you where you can find plastic apple pen tips with very good resistance on the glass so that you can get more control while you are drawing.